I'm Alana. I'm Caitlin. I'm Georgie. And I'm Bethany. And this is our video on internet scams. Thanks for watching. Hi, did you know that last week was the 25th anniversary of the internet? Really? Wow, I didn't know that. That's amazing. I know. So, do you mind if I interview you? It will be about the impact of internet scams like on society and a close examination of them. Yeah, sure. Cool. So, do you know what an internet scam is? Mm, I do. It's using the internet or software services to illegally obtain money from someone by deception or to take advantage of them. Um, this includes stealing personal information or money over the internet. Yeah, that's right. Do you know about the different types of internet scams? Uh, yeah, I know about two. Auction and shopping scams and spam or junk mail offers. Yeah. <laughs> Scammers obtain your personal information when you enter it to receive your free gift or prize. Unfortunately though, they steal your financial information or details in order to gain access to your bank account. Yeah, I know. So, scams trick people into giving away personal information using persuasive techniques. Other types of online scams can include domain renewal scams, hacking, modem jacking, spyware, and key logging. Oh, wow. <laughs> Other scams promise you will receive a fee or certain amount of money if you transfer money. Online scams violate the rights of consumers. Do you know what, a consu what the consumer's rights are? They are the right to satisfaction and basic needs, safety, to be informed, choose, be heard, redress, consumer education, and a healthy environment. These are the international guidelines on consumer protection. Online scams violate these rights by ripping them off, endangering consumers' welfare through identity theft and personal details are stolen. When considering online scams, consumer rights are paramount and the protection of a person's well-being is vital. Exactly. Do you know any outcomes or like, yeah, outcomes of online scams which harm or threaten consumers' rights? Stealing a person's financial details or for personal information can harm their well-being by causing them to become bankrupt, lose their house, on get off or upset due to financial loss can take a toll on a victim emotionally. Mm, I know. But did you know that Australians were scammed $93 million in 2012? If I was scammed, I'd be devastated, wouldn't you? Oh my gosh, what? If I was scammed, I would be raging right now. But that's why there are organisations to protect consumers' rights. Yeah. Well, do you know the names of some of these organisations? Yeah, they are the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, Department of Fair Trading, Standards Australia, and the Consumers Federation of Australia, to name a few. Thank you, Bethany. And now we'll go to Caitlin, who is a victim of hacking. This is Georgie, and I'm going to hand the interview over to her now, and she's going to talk to Caitlin about how her page was scammed and hacked on the internet. Thanks, everyone. So welcome, Caitlin. Now I hear you were a victim of an online scam, is that right? Yes, I was. I owned a Facebook page about fandoms with two friends. We had been working on it for months, you know. We updated it every single day. It sounds pretty good, but what happened? A girl from overseas talked to us for a few weeks. She tricked us into making her a manager on our page. Gwen turned all, us all into content creators, so we can't change anything now. She stole some of our personal information as well. I'm really sorry, Caitlin, but did you know that studies from the ACCC revealed that young people are most likely to fall victim to online scams? What do you say to this? Consumer protection is really important, and young people like me should know the steps to avoiding them. Number one, don't respond to suspicious emails, letters, phone calls, etc. Press delete, rip them up, or ignore them. Special persuasive techniques, learn to recognise fake websites, technical jargon, or imposters. Ask questions first. Don't, number three, don't allow scammers to play with your emotions. Number four, keep your personal information to yourself and don't release your financial details over the internet. One more thing before we go, Caitlin. 
How did that make you feel? We all felt cheated and ripped off. All of us were extremely frustrated, but the worst part was that it was so time consuming to try and fix the problem. We contacted Consumer Affairs through Facebook and they are currently considering our case. Well, I think that's really important and it's good to let consumers know what's out there. So thank you, Caitlin, for helping us today. No problem. Stop or upset due to financial... <laughs> And yeah, and then you could play there. <laughs> and then someone else can be the video recorder, like camera. I'll be the video on the camera. Like I am now. I'm doing okay. Okay, everyone. No, stop. she's actually cut recording. Everything. Cut. Everything. cut. I said cut. Cut, cut, cut. Okay,